You often hear the term, the wheels of justice turn slowly. It's your man, Don McKay in here. Don McKay in the morning, the all-new RadioOnFire.com. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for tuning in. Governor Cuomo sexually harassed multiple women. According to the probe, the investigation found that the New York governor harassed these women inside and outside state government and worked to retaliate against one of his accusers. Now, he is a Democrat, and the attorney general, New York's attorney general, announced the finding today. And uh, it, it is certain, certain to renew calls for the resignation or impeachment of Governor Cuomo. This was nearly a five-month investigation conducted by two outside lawyers who spoke to 179 people. And it found that Cuomo's administration was a hostile work environment and that it was rife with fear and intimidation. This is something that we have heard before. Some, of course, he tried to deny, you know, deny, oh, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, you know, I'm so sorry, I misinterpreted my act, you know, the, the normal stuff. Now, Republicans don't normally hold their politicians accountable when these type of things happen. Democrats usually do. There are cases when they, when, when, when they were not held accountable for various things. Virginia comes to mind immediately, Commonwealth of Virginia. But uh, these interviews and pieces of evidence revealed a very disturbing yet clear picture. Governor Cuomo sexually harassed current and former state employees in violation of federal and state laws. Ooh, that, ooh, <laughs> ooh, wee. New York State Attorney General Letitia James said in a press conference earlier today, she said that her investigation has been concluded. For all you folks that are talking about, she only goes after conservatives or Republicans. No, she's a Democrat as well. Uh, there were no referrals to criminal prosecutors, though that wouldn't preclude local authorities from using this evidence and the findings to mount their own cases. So check this out. On at least one occasion, the investigation found that Cuomo and his senior staff worked to retaliate against a former employee who accused him of wrongdoing. This is the kind of stuff that you don't want to see. Cuomo was also found to have harassed women outside of government. So not just... Not just the uh, folks within the legislative walls working behind the scenes, just regular folks too. He he was brazen. We talk we talk about brazen. He was brazen. For the first time, the allegations that Cuomo sexually harassed a female state trooper that was part of his security detail. Uh, so that was something that was detailed for the first time. Uh, it was said that the governor ran his hands or fingers across her stomach and her back, kissed her on the cheek, asked her for help finding a girlfriend, and asked why she didn't wear a dress. This guy was out of control and is out of control. So some brave women stepped forward to speak truth to power, and in doing so, they expressed faith and belief that although the governor may be powerful, the truth is even more powerful. What should happen to this politician? What should happen to Governor Cuomo? I think it's time for him to go. I mean, his, his, his authority has been undermined. He looks like a joke. And, and, sitting, and he sits up there and preaches to people. This is not a Democratic thing. This is not a Republican thing. This is a wrong is wrong thing. And whether it is on the right side, whether it's on the left side, conservative, 
or progressive, whoever, whoever, when you act in this fashion, there should be consequences, real consequences, not not play consequences. Governor Cuomo needs to go. He needs to go away. And I'm sure that the pressure is going to be back on. He thought the pressure was over with. You ain't going to see him. You, you heard him out running his mouth over the weekend. You ain't going to hear him out now. He's he going to be. You're going to be hiding in, in, in a bunker somewhere. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at the Dom K Show, at Radio and Fire. Of course, we are here daily, 8 a.m. for Dom K in the morning. And uh, as news drops, wherever you're listening to or watching this, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, hit the like button. Of course, YouTube.com slash DJ Dom K. RadioOnFire.com, WRFRadio.com.